back in place again. And new game and doop. Oh, 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 reset. And go. <laughs> Yeah, I still got the guide up, but I'm trying not to not to rely on it now. Not for this beginning area. Uh, perhaps I should, I guess, because I screwed up <laughs> pretty bad there for getting the Ashura. I still want to save time, I think. I was pretty slick going through the caves. It's kind of sad this game was so rushed. It could have been... It could have been something. Something pretty incredible if they had more time to work on it. Gotta remember it, gotta remember. Do not forget the Ashura. Oh, what? oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's okay, we're dealing with it. That's what I get for holding the buttons down, huh? are up there too. Good. They got sideways fights. Yeah, okay, now I'm supposed to go back through this portal. Darkness. 
I love the song in this area. Dress time. How's that? Terrible. I definitely don't think we're gold splitting this time. We have too many mistakes. We had running in there, we got having to go through the portal a whole extra time at setup times. <sighs> Awful. Got our outfit changed though, so that's good. White rose. And now we ditch him. I always feel like analog controls would make sense for this game, but uh, they don't actually work. I believe that this game predates uh, the analog controller. Back up. No bueno. But I didn't get stuck that time. Now we go to the bar. Where we where we went before. Ah, oh, and I ran into the ran into the door. I almost ran into it twice. One day. One day I will get good at the controls. <laughs> Definitely don't want to touch his asthma. That would be a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> Terrible mistake, like, uh, no, it, not not quite as bad as forgetting the Ashura, though, I guess, so, just a, just a terrible mistake. Terrible, terrible has to be reserved for those really, really special moments.
Oh nice, you can just walk around White Rose and save yourself having to talk to her. Zero encounter. Zero encounter. Oh man. No encounters at all! Hog champ! I thought we weren't gonna get a gold split because of all those mistakes, but I think we'll get into or get the gold split anyway because we saved uh, time by not running into encounters there. Oh, it's not a gold split, never mind. Just better than my PB. Quite a bit better. <laughs> I gotta switch that though, because it's it's counting off of what my No idea. Six point plus six point three seconds. Nah. We doing good. That little stretch there, walking from uh, the port to this spot. There's actually a lot of things to get snagged on. It's terribly annoying. And we didn't talk to the girl. What a run. So this little prince dude, he reminds me of the little elves on Odin's spear. We're bad at dodging the beetle. <laughs> Save again. We're bad at dodging this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold up. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't good. Oh, man. Okay. Equip. Ashura, we got it. Get rid of that. You get... In the wrong spot. Backpack. You get blue wealth. Charm necklace. Tau tab pattern. All right. And change position. Change position. Battle. Uh, defense. Defense. Ashura. not a bully and there that's good that's good <laughs>
shadow minions. And we got snagged. <laughs> I have yet to not get snagged, but. Run up here, my house, equip weapon, Ashura, save. There's so much RNG in this uh in this run. It's probably RNG in all of them, but I mean like this fight. Uh, you only get two turns, and if things don't go your way, you gotta reset. Oh, what? Wait. I equipped... Oh, it's okay, because it worked out in the end. <laughs> But, I used the wrong move. <laughs> so, while not quite what I was wanting, I, I'm going to take it. Are gold splits. I still have no idea what the the exit one is all about. All right, now we're going to Karang, right? No, we're going to Luminous. Luminous. Head on in. Watch the shadow spin around. Do its weird Peter Pan business. Talk to this shadow. There we go. Screwed that up last time really badly. Oops. Apparently I didn't hit the circle button. That was the problem there. Then we run down, we run up. Oh no! I was thinking about saving on the staircase, too. Because I'm not super confident dodging either of these two for some reason, but... I got snagged on the light post. Oh, no! <laughs> it's okay, we had like a bajillion of these on my PB. was trying to save <laughs> and I hit the wrong button. Oh no. Oh. He's going to get me. Down up the stairs. Not into the enemy. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, we need those credits too. It seems like such a trivial small amount, but we have to have them. Whew. 
We did it. Save here. We got a... This one. Nope. This one. But we grabbed three. I don't know what happens. So we're gonna we're gonna find out right now. Nope, never mind. We're gonna reset. So we ran into this this guy. I'm not even sure how, but we did it. <laughs> That one. All right, we grabbed. We got the next year one, but once again, it's fine. This one. Save there, in case I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's the right one. How's it going? Uh, runs have been okay. I mean, I'm just starting to learn it, so they're bad, but uh, I've had some good luck. I've had some bad luck. I've had some resets. And equip. Take the Asura off. Give you the Asura. And Be a fan of the game? Familiar with the run at all? Never heard of it. Oh man. It's a... Uh, it's a good game. Hide behind. Defend. Shura. Now, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game, too, that you won't see in a speedrun. Like, this game is super fun casual, but... Uh, my, my splits are in the way. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, is this like... It's not like any of those. I mean, it, it has aspects, but... No. <laughs> This game is fast. And the storyline's kinda yeah. It's uh no, it's more like romance if you've seen Romance of the Three Kingdoms, that's like those. Um, like any other game with saga in its name. There's a couple of Final Fantasy games on the G or Game Boy. That uh Now we're going to Karam. That are very, very similar. Like, in this, you you know, you normally level up. There's no levels in this. You just gain random stats every now and then at the end of battle. And uh, you learn moves in combat instead of out of combat. Oops. Yeah, when you use a move, your character will have a chance to spark. They'll get a light bulb above their head and be like, Oh man, I just learned something new. And then they'll use a new move instead of the move that you told them to use. It's actually very cool. Um, chances are you won't see it during this run. <laughs> uh, there's a very small chance, but probably not. See, like this move, when you kill something with it, it absorbs them, and now I have one of his moves and slightly better stats. Although that's not why I did that. I did that specifically because it allows me to advance the story. And I walk out, and I walk back in, and I walk back out, and I try to walk back in. And here's the boss. <laughs> and we hide behind. 
Phantasm Shout, Ashura, and Inclusion. Also, when your characters die, uh, you can just use regular healing on them, and it will revive them automatically, because technically they're just unconscious and not dead. Um, but every time my character takes a hit while they're unconscious, or when they get knocked unconscious, they lose a life point. And if they run out of life points, it's game over. Or, that character's dead. Like, actually dead. Um, so, like, if my main character gets hit one more time in this fight, uh, I'll actually lose the game. Because the main character, if they run out of life points, it's game over. And I think it just happened, so we're going to reset. <laughs> and we actually need to... I, I didn't do this, but I should have. Oops, that's probably why... Uh, I came over there because I had the characters in the wrong position. Alright. Phantasm shot. Oops, hide behind. Uh, implosion and Ashura. Oh, I didn't combo. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's another thing. You can see every now and then you get uh, combo hits, which are very good. White Rose goes down. Mostly unimportant. <sighs> the, the boss battles in this are huge, huge RNG. Did I? I gotta double check too. I didn't forget to... It doesn't look like it. And I forgot to move the characters around again. Whatever. We are getting wrecked on the RNG here. We're insanely underpowered. Um, because we're not grinding out any fights. There. Now I won't have to do it again if I have to reset. Unfortunately, one more time. We have a ton of time to say on the Orluge fight, though. Like... Over 15 minutes with luck. <laughs> I actually tried to do that section uh, and got it. Got it first try on my first my first run, which is really funny. And then my last run, it took me like 17 attempts or something. Oh, would you look at that? That's not good. But we can still possibly win it, so we're gonna try. We got the combo. That's game over. You can see it. You'll see it here. Yep, I saw this is dead. Game over. <laughs> I also let it run to that point because I wasn't quite positive uh, she was actually at three. I'm pretty sure she was at three, <laughs> but, oh man.
So we got the combo again. Now if only we can just not die. <laughs> Maybe get some attacks off on the other characters. There we go. Phantasm shot. Phantasm shot's weird. It has... There's like five different attacks it can do. And, uh... Some of them have status effects. Most of them are worthless. <laughs> Alright, we got a full wave of damage off though, so that's it's much better. Alright, now it's dead. We finally, finally beat the Water Sage. Or oh actually, we're we're past the Water Sage. I forgot to skip. Oops. We need to actually hit the two button. So yeah, we're we're not as far behind as I was thinking we were. Another funny thing about this game is that it's uh, incredibly intense on math. Like, It does some crazy things. There's a lot of very deep battle mechanics that don't seem like they would be very deep. This move is cool because it does pretty good damage. It hits everyone on the battlefield and it also can insta-kill people by uh, just ejecting them from combat. Not that staircase. This staircase. And now we fly uh, to Kyo. The Lion Princess boss is very, very quick. Um, incredibly RNG dependent. So we go in here. Talk to this person. We're gonna buy two fang amulets. Two wing amulets. Or eight wing amulets. Two flower amulets. 100 money left over. And that second fight we did with that random like enemy bird was so we could trigger this fight here. Um, this is, this isn't right. <laughs> okay. Silence is too fast. We need to swap him out. Right? Swap him out. For White Rose, White Rose, or and we take the Ashura off of him and give it to her. There we go. Entered from the wrong side on accident. There we go. Uh... Basically, we have to get attacked first. <laughs> um, so we're gonna Ashura, defend. Nice, perfect. It's actually the only way to win this fight. Wait, it didn't even work. Wait, what? What? Hold up. Oh, because I'm still doing it wrong. That's not right. I was looking at the wrong lines. Oh no, position. 
equip weapon, she's not strong enough. Ashura, and he gets two fang amulets. Oh, that was that was almost perfect. If I had White Rose attack, we might have actually won still too. <laughs> Alright, let's hope for the RNG again. Nice. Perfect. There we go. She has exactly 7,000 HP, so we actually beat her with four extra damage than I did last time. <laughs> now, Hunter Knight, we did really good on this last time. And we need to go to uh, Karang, right? Oh, we don't. We just need to go to Shrike. Crap. Already behind. Kind of going mostly off memory. Trying to. It helps me. It helps me learn. And then we go up to say his tomb. Go down, up, across these rocks, into the cave. Save there, this way we don't possibly run into those. <laughs> and down this hole. Save there. And battle. Acellus defends, and we Mystic Boots one skeleton. Defend. Mystic Sword, this one. Very important to do it this order. If you don't, nice. Uh, the skeletons will probably deflect uh, the sword attack. So if you do the sword first, the other skeleton will deflect the attack for you or for him, and then your SOL you come out. Do this twice. Get Ilden. White Rose in. Equip. Pick this off. Um, does he need anything else? He needs a uh, two fang amulets and a wing armlet. Wing amulet. Oh, there we go. Gotta get into the, the wedge there. Very tight space. Choose Ilden to fight on his own, and same deal. We actually boots one, sword the other. Oh man! But it lived. <laughs> That's why you save. Or why you can save. Oh, that was rough. Oh, you know what? Did I equip the Ashura on him? Maybe that's why. I did not. Yashura adds a lot of stats. Oh, 
when I chose the wrong party. Oh man. It's not how you want to how you want to see things go. <laughs> Equip weapon, sure. Here we go. Now you should one shot him. There we go. That's the stuff. without getting into a random encounter. Good. Uh, down the stones. Down these stones. Up this path. And over to Moose Tomb. Oh, whoops. Hold up. Gotta reset. I actually need Rouge in the party, too. It should actually be Ilden, Acellus, Rouge, Silence. There we go. Phantasm shot. Uh, Ilden uses Ashura uh, twice. Implosion. And you use Assassinate. And you use Hide Behind. What a way to start. No combos. Oh, we get this combo. That's exciting. Okay, that's good. Would have liked to see assassinate in there too, but uh. That was better than nothing. Be a three turn fight. So now, Phantasm Shot, you need to use Blade. You can use Assassinate still. Sucks. Four turn fight, maybe. Zarek, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, if this doesn't kill him, I gotta reset. Okay, it, it did. You actually, you, you came into the stream at a good time. If you had come in like an hour ago, it would have been bad. Like, my internet here sucks. Yeah, heads. Hello to you. Also, thanks for the follow. Um, my internet was, uh, I've dropped 
34,000 frames so far this stream, although most of them were during a rough patch. Brazil, nice! That is quite the ways away. But you're not actually the first person from Brazil that I've had in my chat either. I'm not sure if a lot of people watch uh, Twitch in Brazil, but some number of them do it, certainly. So now we gotta go to Karong, and then we gotta go to Omai. Oh yeah, 34,000. But it was over the span of a couple hours, so it wasn't like I just lost them all at once or something. <laughs> Uh, my stream was just choppy and low quality. Really unfortunate. Alright, we need to move White Rose and Rouge and then equip Ilden. Take that off, give him the Murakamo, right? Is that right? No, he needs... Kagami. Good. And then replace the Fang Amulets with Wing Amulets. Give Silence the Ashura, right? Excellent. Oh, wait, what's your first? I love the OST in Saga Frontier. This, oh, the entire soundtrack of this game is phenomenal. Symphony of the Night, mmm, there are some good tracks in there, but I find like half the tracks are kind of generic background, whereas most of the tracks in this are pretty catchy. But I'm not saying this is the best either, I don't, I don't actually have a best, but there we go, run around him. Now, uh, yeah, gotta save. Devil Squid time. It won't be the first and it won't be the last. Gildan uses Mystic Glove. You use Assassinate, right? Sil oh, Silence uses Ashura. And hide behind. And we did not combo. So this will not kill. Which is good, we don't want it to kill anyways. There's actually five battle or normal battle songs in this game. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is uh, battle theme number one. The other ones are more rare, but there are five normal battle theme songs in this game, <laughs> which is crazy. All right, and we get Mesothin. And... We take her, or we, we take Ilden, and we take him out, we equip, we take out the Ashura, and you. Hold on, I gotta remember, uh, party three, unequip Izakame with the Ashura. Excellent. Acellus is a woman. Yeah. You didn't know that? I mean, they kind of call him a prince of the, or her a prince at the beginning, but it's because the person didn't know. Um, and you use Tiger Rampage? Yes, Tiger Rampage, and then you use Mystic Glove, and we need Ilden to go first. Great. She is indeed a woman. In fact, she's, uh, she's a lesbian woman. In the story. All right, and then, whoa, 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 whoa! I did that wrong. Well, I mean, I did it right, but then I thought I did it wrong. It's a really minor detail, but it's in, it's in, uh, it's in the ending, and it's kind of hinted at throughout the thing. All right, let's try this again. There we go. We do this, and then we. Dodge that guy. And we save. And we run in and out of this spot. 
T260. I like him. His his speed run is insanely awful. Uh, one day I'll do it, but it's going to be one of the last ones I do, if I do all of them. Because the RNG on his is nuts. <laughs> Oops. I totally missed the door. <laughs> White Rose is gone. My entire party leaves. Zazma shows up, he's like, Man, you're so sad, I'ma come with you. And then we actually leave again, and we go back. And uh, we get our entire party back. Great. Now, what do I do from here? I don't remember this part. Party... Double Squid, move Ildon and Zazma to party three. Excellent. Uh, oh, that's it. Dodge the bug. Dodge this guy. Save here just in case. Party three, and you use Mystic Glove and Tiger Rampage. Kind of the same deal here, we're uh, powering up our characters. They're now powered up. Back out, save. That trick does work every time, I'm just not very good at doing the trick <laughs> for some god awful reason. The trick is literally hold left and right are up at the same time and you'll get past the enemy every time. That's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> but I screw it up. Alright, get out of the house. Uh, go talk to the pilot. I didn't get snaked! I mean, I kind of got snaked for like Split second, but it doesn't even count. We're actually nearing the end of the game here. Save. Because we gotta get past all of these enemies. That room's easy. This room, less easy. That was actually my fault entirely. Yeah, actually, that's... Well, actually, was I even teens when I played this game? I played it the year it came out in the U.S., which I think might have been, like, 1990... I mean, it was, like, 97, maybe. I hate this room. I'm not very good at it yet. Uh, if you run up high enough, you can grab all three attention, and then you run down, and you, you swerve around everybody. But... Whoa, the fairy came over too. So you don't know anything about the story? Oh, I don't even remember. Um, I have played this game quite a bit when I was a kid. I played it uh, even more in my teens, and then it's been ages since I played it. I just uh, repurchased it, basically. And then I was like, I'm going to speedrun it. So that's what we're doing. This is the first day, uh, the very first day. Fairy. Fairy, look at me over here. Thank you. We did it! We made it past! Thank goodness. We're gonna save. Because, uh... That might happen. Ah! So you had this game and you didn't even... You didn't even know much English at the time. That's... That's crazy. That's cool. I mean, I, I've kind of done that myself. Uh... One time, I streamed Monster Hunter Double Cross, which was, at the time, only a Japanese game. And I I know some Japanese, but not that much. <laughs> and uh, I played the entire game on stream. 
I uh, didn't learn much about the story. Uh, barely functioned. But I, I 100%ed all the, the quests and stuff. So, it took 660-something hours on stream. It was pretty cool. Oops, we need to go to the treasure room. Get the power belt. Get over here, get the harmonium earring. Go up the tower on the right, we quick save. We're not good enough to get past, or get through this whole area without running into encounters, so we're quick saving in every room. Oh, we made it through it one try! Last time we got caught there for like 10 minutes. It was, it was literally tragic. Oh, zero encounters! Three up! Oh man! All right, this bug, he's cool. He follows you and then he moves up for some reason. Oh. And he was in the downward position. Normally he's up higher. In my experience. But this bug is actually hard to get around if he doesn't like move out of the way. Bug, bug follow. Thank you. There we go, upward position. All right. That's a healing point. Now we move. Okay. Passing Ataru, we got there. Acellus moves Ozma to party one. Swap Rouge and Ilden. Equip. Replace the blue elf with charm necklace. I'm missing one. Blue Elf, oh, with flower amulets. Oh, okay. These are supposed to be flower amulets. Got it. Um, Ildan, unequip the Ashura. Silence, equip the power belt. There we go. Um, Zazma. Oops. The unequip the Fiend Rod. Equip the Ashura. Equip Genbu Shield if I have one. Did I have one? I do have one. You actually need this magic wear back. You get the power belt. Uh, and then he needs a charm necklace and wing amulet. Alright. Made it past. Made it past that guy too. Ooh, these enemies are okay. They they were doing their own thing. They let me go. Thank you. We definitely need good luck. So this is not like a boss rush, but we we get bosses here. All right, hide behind. Tiger Rampage, uh oh, wrong target. Tiger Rampage, Tiger Rampage, Tiger Rampage. And we did not get a four hit combo, which sucks, sad. We didn't even get a two hit combo, we're gonna reset. Um, Acellus is actually down one life point already. Can I raise up the in game sound? I can. Uh, there you go. Uh, that guy. It's Tiger Rampage again. Tiger Rampage. And Tiger Rampage. You're welcome. No combo again. Dang. If you get a four... Uh, four person combo on this, uh, you can uh, kill the boss in one turn, which is pretty cool. But we got a two person combination, we'll get another Tiger Rampage off, and he should die the next turn. As long as my party doesn't, like, go down. 
And I think that palsy wears off this turn, too. Nope, it did not. That actually really sucks. We're still in it. We're still in it. <laughs> Alright, the policy's off. Yeah, this is uh, another one of those sweet battle songs. So good. That's fine. As long as Ilden gets his turn. There we go. Nice. That was a terrible fight. God awful fight. <laughs> okay. I did not mean to talk to him, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna not save before this because I don't know if we can uh, survive it or not, and I don't want to save before we fight and find out that I'm wrong. So this one is a cool fight too. If we combo a three-person combo, which we did not, she would have died in one hit. We got a two-person combo, and we'll have another chance next round. Cause she's only got 7,000 HP. There we go, level 2. This might kill her. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I did. Good. And now for the super RNG boss. So much fun. Yeah, we're, we're really under-leveled. Well, I kind of. We haven't gained a lot of stats. We haven't done a lot of fights. And this is the end of the game. So the enemies are very strong, and they'll, they'll kill us in one hit. In most situations. through here. We talk to Orluge. And then we... Oh, what's the order on this? We move... I saw this with Artham, uh, Ilden, Silent Sozma, and we use a Sanctuary Stone, equip Mazarthum with uh, the Pluto Armor, Magic Wear, wait, Magic Wear and Harmonium Earring. And you also get a Mizukigami. And then we go up this way. We save. And we fight. Last boss. And this fight is stupidly RNG based. There's a lot that can go wrong. Alright. 
defend, life rain. Uh, you use tiger rampage, right? Ildun and silence uses blade, and you use Highland song. Awesome. So that's this is as long as he gets off his Highland song before anyone dies, if anyone dies. Well, we're gonna try it anyways. That was bad. That was the person I wanted least to get hit. <laughs> he was supposed to buff everyone up. But we might still have this. Alright, hide behind. Uh, life Rain. Tiger Rampage. Tiger Rampage. Tiger Rampage. We did not get a combo there. That won't work. Level 3 combination, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> 7,000, so he is now in phase 2. Which means he'll summon one of his little mistresses in the battle. And another one in the background, the portrait, will use a buff. And buff him. Um, we're gonna use Hide Behind, Life Rain, Tiger Rampage, Tiger Rampage, Tiger Rampage, and we're gonna hope for uh, some excellent luck again. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Take two. It was looking really good until, you know, you get wind blasted and lose your entire party on the same turn. Life Rain, Tiger Rampage, Blade, and Thailand Song again. Oh, perfect. He blocked. Um, we didn't get the combo, but that's honestly not as big of a deal. Because we just got everybody's quickness up. Which increases our chance of uh, comboing together. Hide behind Tiger Rampage and Tiger Rampage again. Level 3 combo! Uh. The, you mean the. What do you mean by sirens? You mean the, the mermaid? She has enough to last the entire fight. I don't know how much it is to be honest, but. She, she can't, she will either die or he'll die before she runs out, but she has, she has six left, so eight. Vitality up? Willpower? Oh, just willpower. Okay. We can deal with that. Got it. Ooh, level three combo. Oh, and she's got, she's got bolt shield. Nice. This is looking good. He should be in phase two now, or phase three. Pretty sure. Yeah. So now he gets all three of his mistresses out. Um, but he should be really slow. So because we're we're full buffed and we haven't uh, had anyone die, we should get 
a four-person combo here, and it should kill him. Oh, we didn't! Oh no! We gotta get lucky then. Put it level three combo, so he should still die. I'm hoping. Like eight thousand damage. Eight thousand damage. Yep, that's the end of the fight. And time ends just after the credits, so or the uh, the ending scene. This was a lot better though, because uh, this fight I actually got here my last my PB run, uh, like seven eight minutes before I did on this run, and uh, it still took me an extra like fifteen minutes to do it. Not GG yet. We got to spam our way through the storyline. <laughs> but thank you. It's it's GG enough. That's the last fight. That's the, really the last thing we have to do except spam the circle button. I don't know why the community decided this is where we should uh, or they should uh, put the end of the timer, but it's where it's at. What time is it over there in Brazil? I'm assuming... 2.30. I was going to say, I'm like, it can't be too much different from my time zone. I mean, it's it's 11.38 here. So three hours different. That's not bad. Heck, that's just East Coast time. And uh, Athelis' story is actually unique. She has three different endings. I'm in Montana in the U.S. But originally from Alaska. Arctic boy. Alright, and then we... That's time. Alaska, yep. It's uh, just off Canada. But it's part of the United States as well. It's just disconnected and attached to Canada. So that was the end. One hour, 13 minutes, 34 seconds. Excellent. Yeah, it, it, it was, it's cold up there. It's actually, it's cold here, too. Uh, the weather's really similar. Uh, we're much further south, but Montana gets some, gets some chilly, chilly weather. Do I want to do another run? It's 11 to 40. Uh, the runs take like an hour, say an hour and a half. That's going to put me at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Mm. No, I think I'm going to go to bed. Um, I'm going to call it for the night, but I'll be back tomorrow with some more of this, because uh, I love this game. Uh, also, since I got some new people and nobody knows what my schedule is, I've been streaming in the daytime, like randomly in the daytime, and then I'll usually end sometime like around 3, and then I'll pick up again like 7, 8 p.m., so that's my time zone. Uh, you had, for example, that would be like 10 p.m., uh, but I've been streaming every day for the past- well, actually, I didn't stream yesterday, did I? I lied, I didn't stream yesterday. I've been streaming almost every day for the past week or so. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be here tomorrow. But, uh, thank you all for stopping in. Appreciate the company, appreciate the follows, and, uh, hope to see you again. Bye bye